throwing us right. us in there. Hey, oh, yes. I want you to welcome to uh, San Diego Comic Con's dungeon. Wherever, where, <laughs> where uh, we are, wherever we this are. Might be, this might be the shadow fell. I don't know. <laughs> right. It's hard to say. Yeah. So, anyways, go ahead and introduce yourself and tell me um, outside of the game, what do you do? Uh, my name is Marisha Ray. Uh, I play Keyleth in Critical Role. Outside of the game, I am a voice actor along with the rest of these crazy people. And uh, I'm also a producer and do some writing and just general creative type. In LA, you tend to have to wear many hats if you want to uh, have food to live off of. <laughs> so. so, so you always been a D and D player, or you just got introduced? I was actually, actually, Matt was my first dungeon master like eight years ago. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah, way before this campaign, and then we kind of he introduced me to the world of RPGs, and then I went off and I played like a Buffy the Vampire Slayer tabletop RPG for a while, and a few other like D and D campaigns, and then came back to this a few years later. But I didn't discover RPGs until I moved out to Los Angeles. Um, I'm from a small town in Kentucky, yeah, where that type of thing is very common, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been to the Midwest. They all they do is just play do RPGs. They do now. Now that the resurgence has kind of come out, and and it's, it, it we're in like a new age, like a still a golden age of RPGs. When I was in middle school and high school, it was still like, what is that demon shit you guys are doing? Is that a cult? That's some weird cult, isn't it? So, luckily, we're shifting away from the you know. Uh, mazes and madness Tom Hanks interpretation of Dungeons and Dragons yeah <laughs> so what's the lure for you to playing D&D &D? oh man it's the best just there's something about finding a good group and having that communal storytelling aspect with your friends and I don't think there's too many opportunities in today's era for adults to play make-believe, essentially. Um, and this kind of gives you permission to play pretend. And when you can immerse yourself and you're doing these adventures and you're killing beholders, yeah. you get adrenaline rushes and then you leave and those memories that you have from the game are just as real as, you know, going to Starbucks, you know? That's so, it, so that's the thing, it's like, it feels in a weird way like it happened almost at the end of the day. So I, I think that part is just, there's not really, there's not a whole lot that can offer that type of immersive experience the way D&D &D does. Well then tell us about your character and give, give us some background. <laughs> uh, so my character, Keyleth, she is a half-elf druid and she was raised in kind of like a Inuit tribe on the mountains of other druids and she was kind of destined early on, kind of handpicked from her tribal elders of the Ashari, is the name of the tribe, to be the next leader of the air tribe. So she was kind of jettisoned into this world of responsibility um, when she was pretty much still a kid. And, but she also hadn't really left that small mountain town until she had to go off and become a hero. So she's kind of slowly getting, she started out fairly naive and now she's learning how the world works and it's kind it's very exciting playing a character who is kind of a new soul and is seeing the world for the first time because personally, like me as Marisha, I'm the total opposite. Yeah. So it's kind of nice to go into to play a character that's got this kind of like wide-eyed wonder at the world. Wow. Uh, yeah. We're so in depth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Dude, you're like you're ready yeah. to write a book about it. Man, well we've been playing these characters like this has been about three going on four years now like campaign because we were playing for about two years before the show started. Uh -huh. So now the characters are, are so deep mm -hmm. and they, like, we've kind of transcended what we've started as. And you can kind of just like step in now to the character. And I think there are moments where some of us will make choices yeah. in the moment as a character that even will shock like me sometimes. Like sometimes I'm just like, oh damn, did Keyleth just do that? But it's like, 
we know them so well, it's like impulse. You can kind of just go with the flow. Have you heard of something called Dragonlance? I have. Did you know Absolutely. that was based based off of a, their game? Yes, I did, it, which is incredible. I mean, it, and once again, it's just another like kind of further statement at how fleshed out and incredible these stories can be. And mm-hmm. there, there's a lot of like celebrities who are now finally kind of coming out and creatives in Hollywood who have been like, yeah, no, D and D like totally inspired me. So do you come up, have to come up with a special voice for your character? Uh, I have, I do, I am rocking right now on <laughs> almost no voice because Comic-Con has taken it from me. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I kind of have a, a, and she's a very nervous and very shy and kind of socially awkward person because once again, she wasn't really introduced to the world until later in life. So. I kind of approach her with her speech pattern. She's a little bit more hesitant and reticent, and yeah, uh, with things. But I, I she kind of goes into a more breathy. I kind of I put her picture up a little bit. Yeah. Okay, true. Yeah. Now the, the yeah. uh, uh, Comic Con. <laughs> uh, anyway, yes, continue. Now, of course, the ultimate uh, journey for anybody playing D and D is Gen Con. Not yes, Comic Con, yeah, but Gen, Gen Con. Con. Are yes. you going there? We are, and I am so excited because I've never been to Gen Con before. Uh, so we're stoked that we're finally going. You know, six years for me. Six years. Six years since you've been. No, no. Or no. you've been going I, for six years. I've gone six years straight. Oh wow. Um, and then I stopped uh, three, four years ago. I was I was paid by Gen Con to fly out. Oh shit! Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, I, that's I, I, awesome. I used to, I used to DM. Ah, uh, fuck yeah, man! Yeah. World needs more DMs. Right. <laughs> Everyone wants to play. The world needs more DMs. Yeah. But yeah, no, we're stoked for Gen Con because that's like, that's our turf. You know, that's our, that's our thing. So. Oh, you better conquer it. <laughs> this is Simba. Everything you see, everything the light touches. Yeah. We'll we'll see. We're excited though. I'm awesome. very excited. Awesome. Yeah. Well, let me let me wrap this up. Uh, can you talk about your non D and D projects that you upcoming projects you may have? Uh, well, you should definitely check out Signal Boost on geekandsundry.com. It's the show that I produce, and uh, basically the concept is it's a rotating host show where we get geeky people to come in and talk about the things that they love that you probably haven't heard about. Um, so it's super fun. It's irreverent. Um, and then you can check out some of my voiceover stuff. Um, I'm in Star Wars Battlefront as a stormtrooper. I'm in Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain. I'm trying to think of all the ones that I can talk about. It's sad because the new stuff we can't yeah. talk about. Um, uh, Fire Emblem Fates. I'm a few characters in there. Uh, yeah, there's. I'm always up to weird stuff. Follow me on Twitter at Marisha underscore Ray. You can see all the craziness that I get up to. Awesome. Well, hopefully we get to a game one day. Yes. Uh, that'd be great. That'd okay. be great. And we'll see you at Gen Con. We'll see we, you there. We'll try to see All right. You. I'll see you there. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys.